And welcome back, everybody, to more Schla Raccoon, or Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus, which is probably what this video will be called, because, well, I mean, this game is known in Europe as Sly Raccoon. Well, whatever, let's just head into the first level. For some reason, this game is known as Sly Raccoon in Europe. I don't know, is Cooper like a dirty, I don't know. <laughs> Jump and press the square button. That'll slam them shut. Oh, really? I would have never have figured that out. Alright, so yeah. Yeah, as I was saying, I have no... God damn it, Bentley. Can you stop talking? God damn it. Uh, Alright, Bentley, can you stop talking for just a couple of minutes? He's gonna talk here, isn't he? Yep. <laughs> Jesus. I know, Bentley. I am not a. I'm not some simpleton that doesn't know how to fucking do math. Christ. I know this is a kid's game, but come on, you don't need to explain everything. What the hell is going on? Why am I doing so bad? I'm losing all my lucky charms. I actually recorded this beforehand, and it came out like shit, because I just didn't use the settings well enough, so uh, it looked pretty bad. Now I'm recording it again. It looks a lot better this time. Whee! And we oh, come on, come on. Thank you. Extra life, please. All right, did I get all the bottles or no? I did not. This that little section used to challenge me quite a bit as a kid, but um, right now it's pretty simple. Pretty, pretty simple. Give me the coins. Give me the coins. Yeah, and I remember the coins actually change between levels, like the design of them. You don't, you won't always have that weird-looking hat that Raleigh wears. You have different for each uh, each level or each like world. Ooh, this is dangerous. But seriously, this is really dangerous. Why are you doing this, Sly? Whoop. Whoop. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Hey there, little hammer bro. See you later, hammer bro. Hammer Brothers. Super Mario Hammer Brothers. Whoop. Whoop. Come on. Yeah. We did it. Hit me. Oh, that was close. Get all them coins so I can get another lucky charm thing. Right. Ooh, baby. I love the little sounds when he's walking. A little bass. Doom, 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 doom. Blow your fire, you weird little fucking walrus thing. I don't know. It's Wally the Walrus. Isn't that a character in like Woody the Woodpecker? Wally the Walrus or something? Yeah! Oof, that was close. Ah. Didn't time that well enough. Alright, we're missing one bottle. But no worries. I haven't missed one. Oop. Right up there. Up here. Grab on. Swing, Sly. Swing. Swing. Yahoo. Alright. I know, Bentley. I can't believe I pieced this one together. Try 227. 227? Seems a very easy code to remember.
Ooh, what move do we get now? Interesting. Old Sally Cooper's fast getaway raccoon roll. Stories claim she can move faster rolling than anyone else could on the run. Hold down the triangle button to use this move. Switch between your power-ups using L2 and R2. Fine, I will. So, uh, yeah, now we can roll. We... <laughs> it's quite useful, I suppose. Although I probably won't use it all that much. We... And you won't always... Once you, like, get further into the game, you won't always get, like, um, vaults that have uh, power-ups. Sometimes they will just have, like, some sort of secret or, you know, some improvement. But that's not like a move itself. So it's a, it's a nice variation. Alright, boom. I think later we might get like a, a vault that has like plans in it. So you can f like easier, it's more easier for you to find all the bottles. Alright, that was relatively simple. Let's check out this squid dude. Grab ourselves another extra life. There was a lucky charm, actually. I think we should get that just in case. Because why not? Because well, for some reason I've lost all my lucky char charms. Hey, it's another extra life, but screw it. Let's head into a high class high. Is it the barrel one? No, it's not the barrel one. It's the level that glitches out on my old PS2 copy of this game. Must be worth millions. <laughs> millions. You know what that means? Tighter security. You're gonna have to be extra sneaky to get the treasure key here. Yeah, my old and my old uh, PS2 copy of this game. When he says millions, it just glitches out, and he says m -m -mil million, 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 millions. It's really um, it's not pleasant. My old, well, my copy on this on the PS2 is quite scratched up. Didn't really take all that good care of my games back in the day, although I did get a lot better at it. I'd say most of my PS2 games work. A lot of my PS1 games do not, however. Like, like my old copy of Final Fantasy IX is pretty banged up. Thankfully, though, the game's been released digitally like a billion times, so. Can always play it. That is my actually why I said Final Fantasy IX. I was I should say it's my final, my final. It's my favorite Final Fantasy game. I love it. I think I, I've probably played it like every single year, or at least like tried to, because it's just such a good game. I don't know why it's it's like I probably have a lot of fondness for it because it's. Yeah, badly. Shut up. I probably have a lot of fondness for Final Fantasy IX because it was like the first RPG that I played, like proper RPG. And yeah, I really liked it. Although I do like a lot of other Final Fantasies. I like Final Fantasy VII, like I think most people do. Some people have a bit of a hate for it. I can understand why, because everybody says it's like the best game ever. Jesus. I'm looking forward to the remake, actually. I mean, though there's been no news at all ever since it was like announced. They've just shown like snippets of gameplay footage, which looks well, pretty cool. But like, we've had literally zero news since. So, well, we have no idea what's going on with that game. It's probably gonna take freaking ages to do. Well, because they're making a game from the ground up. Making the entire game from the ground up. That's gonna take a while. And also, it took them, what, 11? No, not 11. It took them, like, what, 13? 12, 13 years to, to release Kingdom Hearts 3? I'm talking about Square here. Square Enix. So, it's gonna take a while, I'm guessing. How long did like Final Fantasy 15 was like announced 
Like, it wasn't known as Final Fantasy 15 when it was announced. It was like Final Fantasy something, I don't remember. But it was announced in like 2006, wasn't it? And it wasn't released until like 2016 or something? 2015? So Square take their time. Especially with their big ass projects. Oh yeah, I forgot to get the vault. Nah, screw it, we'll just head back into the level. One out. I got so wrapped up in what I was talking about. Alright. Actually, I remember, I did beat um, Kingdom Hearts 3 a couple of days ago. I'm sort of, I don't know, I'm kind of torn on the game. I, I think a lot of it has to do with because... I'm not really that emotionally invested into like the story and everything like I was when I was younger um, so I'm not like that as well as interested as I was like when Kingdom Hearts 2 came out because I was invested like, when Kingdom Hearts 2 came out I was like what 11 436 I don't know I might do a video on Kingdom Hearts 3 I kind of want to talk about it in more detail. I don't know. I like a lot about it, but not everything. These are the blueprints of Raleigh's entire operation. I wonder... Yes. Yes. I can wire this info directly into your binocucom. It'll show you the position of nearby clues and breakable objects. Cool. Thank you, Ben Bear. <laughs> ben Bear. Thank you, Ben Bear. All right, let's head the hell out of it. Can we just exit level? Yeah, let's just do that. That's the simplest thing to do. It doesn't like go away. Nope. Okay. For some reason, I thought maybe they would take it away because I didn't, I didn't exit the level in the in the right way. All right, we got two more levels left in this area. One over there, but we'll nice start by doing this one over the here. Hi, Sly. Yeah. Ooh. Almost got an extra life. A cunning disguise. Yes. Alright, bottles that are easily missed. Yay, extra life. I wonder how many I can get before the uh, end of this game. <gasps> Those rats got pegged. Raleigh appears to have booby trapped this entire place. I'm gonna enjoy this. Don't you get it, Sly? If you step on that rug, forget about becoming a master thief. You'll be a master dartboard. Wait a second. What if I jumped into that barrel for protection? I don't know. It looks pretty risky and very unsanitary. Only one way to find out. Yep. Only one way to find out. And it works. Surprise, surprise. It works. Let's just take these things out. Just because you don't really need to do it, but I like to do it. Oh, yeah. The barrel also protects you from the fire from this guy, but just the barrel turns all black just char charred I suppose I don't like the way you said black so far so good I bet if you stayed still inside the barrel the guard will be able to see you even if he shines his flashlight on you that's because he's an idiot <laughs> hmm a barrel is that barrel getting closer Is that barrel getting closer? Oh, God! Alright. More extra lives. They're really generous on the extra lives. This early in the game. Oop. That nearly went badly. Alright. We need to go back and get the barrel. Because surprise, surprise. We actually need it. For the majority of this level. We need to take it all the way to the end. Which isn't bad or anything, it's just, it just takes a little while to get everywhere. Let's just get over here, get over you, and get over you. Get all the 
bottles in this area. Yeah, yeah. Whoop. Whoop. There we go. There's no bottle on this side. Alright, so we're good. Watch out for those furnaces. No! Come back here! Thank you. Turn me around. You be on me right around, baby. Right around. Like a record baby. It even saves us from spotlights. For some reason. Uh, go. I didn't really need to be that careful. Hey, it's the vault. Whoa, camera. Whoa. Hey, uh. 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 <laughs> this guy is an idiot. He's a complete idiot, bro. Oh, he's in the barrel. Oh, he's in the barrel. Where'd he go? Uh, that's funny. I don't see him. Where is he? Alright, here's a secret that's oh, easily missed. Whoop. Yup. Alright, three more. Whoop. That would have been awesome if I had landed straight in it. Whoop. And all of them are ours. Alright, let's go check on that vault. Didn't forget this time, like the <laughs> last level. Whoop a day. Whoop a To enter the vault code. Just tell me the code. With the help of a straight edge and compass, the answer was simple. Dial in 242. 242. If I remember correctly, we get like a slow mo jump. Uh, an upgrade. I think that is what we get. Outstanding! Another page from the Phoebus Raccoonus. This one features Dev Cooperinda's slow motion jumps. He used this to get by all kinds of airborne threats. Hit the triangle button while in the air to slow down time. To slow down time. Alright. So. Whoa! That's. Whoa! That's pretty much how it works. Jump. Everything's in slow motion. Pretty cool, huh? It's not like I'll be using that all the time, but. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I thought that yeah, I remember thinking it was the coolest thing in the world back when I was a kid, but it doesn't really hold up the charm, does it? Can I do it like? Hyah! That was pretty cool, I suppose. Bam. All right, we're moving through this through this world. All right. Got a minute left. I guess I'll just do the last level in this video because why not? Sly, see that machine wheel? If my knowledge of mechanical engineering serves me right, applying significant rotational torque to achieve maximum velocity will yield a positive result. You mean something good might happen if I can get the wheel to spin fast enough? Isn't that what I just said? Uh, no. All right. I guess we'll do the last level. Uh, well, the last level in this area. We still got a few more levels to go. Fire down below. Well, you know what? Mm, nah, let's do the level. Fuck it. I was thinking of cutting it right there, but screw it. Let's let's it. Temperatures reading way off the charts in here. This must be the power source for the storm machine. Mm -hmm. The power source through the star shine. It really needs a power source. Right. Ooh. I saw that bottle. You don't get away from me, you bastard. 
Would have been bad if I'd forgotten that one right at the start. As you saw, the vault was there at the start, so we're gonna have to finish the level and come back because this level is actually kind of long. And it's a pain in the ass to backtrack. I don't even think you can, like, properly backtrack. It's, I think, mainly due to this. Yeah, this sec. Why not? You can walk up, up there. Oh, I really forgot you there, you, you bastard. Alright, you got Get on it. And. Woo! Ooh. We did it. Hammer bro. Don't don't hammer me. Don't hammer me, bro. Go, 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 go. I think we may have to go back down. Or is that just bullshit? I already got the yeah 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 okay yeah, yeah. I remember I used to jump down because I for, always forget the bottle that's up there that we got earlier so all right we're fine we are fine indeed what are these furnaces for <laughs> just to be an obstacle wow this it's kind of dangerous to work here these furnace doors keep opening I could burn to death. Here. All right. Stuff a lot of bottles in this area. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Give me all the coins. There we go. All right. Now we gotta do. You see that boulder? We gotta bring it all over, all the way over here. Go, go, go. Come on, boulder. Come on, son. Just hold on a minute there, son. Alright, I hope we haven't missed bottles. I don't think we have. There's two over here. I think there are two up there. Yes, sir. Cool, we didn't miss any bottles. Sawit. Level was pretty damn quick. Alright, can we make him not fall down? I don't remember. Don't fall down, don't fall down. Yes! Oof, that was, that's good. And we can get the vault. Oops. Press the circle to enter the vault code. I already have. I'm unbeatable! No code can stand before me! It's got to be five, seven, nine. Five, seven, nine. Oh, what do we have? Interesting. Chris Cooper's dive collection technique. This move is an extension of the dive move you already know. Just jump and hit the triangle button near breakable objects for some fast breaking, fast collecting action. Cool. So we can now do this. Yeah. Awesome. We can do a dive. That's awesome. It's a pretty cool move if you ask me. All right. So I'm going to end this episode here. In the next episode, we are going to be, uh, well, using all the keys we've collected to get in that generator. Um, so, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.